<laughs> feel so, like, so, so cold. So cold. Uh, hey. You get it? We're frozen. Still so cold. <laughs> Frozen. Okay, so Frozen is a new animated musical from Disney. And it's about two princesses, one named Anna and one named Elsa. By Kristen Bell and... Adina Menzel. Adina Menzel. And Elsa has the power of ice. So, like, basically she can kill you with ice. She can... Freeze you with ice. You can, she can freeze you with build, entire buildings with ice. And, she, and she's had this since she was a baby. Uh, one of them had to get their memories wiped because of a certain incident that occurs. Elsa runs up when her powers are fully revealed to the entire kingdom. Anna, believing that she can help, you know, stop this eternal winter, winter that Elsa has caused, she goes, and along the way, she meets Hans Olaf, voiced by Josh Gad, and they're basically on an epic quest to hopefully save the land. Mm -hmm. From it. freezing to death. Yeah. Alright, so with me in my review of Frozen is my brother Alex, aka Puzzle90. So, so we just saw this last night. Guys, you need yes. to go see this movie. You need to go see it. Go this. see it. This basically is a film that, you know, when you watch it, if you grew up in the 90s or if you grew up watching like those old Disney films such as Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, oh, Little Mermaid, Mermaid, any of those. Cinderella, Sleeping yeah, Beauty. Yeah, like any of those films that have a lot of musical numbers, you will definitely love this movie. Now Absolutely. here's the thing, I'm not a musical person. I tend to just think they're annoying as hell because my main beef with musicals is that when they're in a simple line of dialogue, they automatically like they were busting the song and dance. Oh, and, like Les Mis. Well, oh no, although, no, Les Mis was right out of the gate. Although, there was only be three lines of dialogue. Three lines of dialogue. And Les Mis, it was right out of the gate they started singing. And this one... Kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing, but not so much. I gotta but, say, their first doing the Chopping the Ice song. Yeah, that, 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 that reminded me a lot of Les Mis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah. down, down, look down, down. Yeah, yeah. and cut through I this ice. About, yeah. Look down. Yeah. And speaking of that, these song bits in this movie were absolutely fantastic. Oh, now, yes. Now, here's the thing. Like I said before, I'm not a fan of musicals, but oh my yeah. god, the songs of this movie are so good. There is at least two songs that I can remember off the top of my head that have really been playing in my head all day long mm -hmm. today. The voice talents all around are excellent. Kristen Bell voices Anna. Knocks it out of the park with that one. Oh, my god. God, yes, and um, I didn't know she could sing that good. I didn't know that was her. There were so many points where, like, you know, because there are a lot of high notes to him, those songs, and when she hits them, I got serious chills mm -hmm. listening to her singing. No, no pun intended. There were multiple times during the singing in this film where I haven't felt this way uh, about a musical since Les Miserables. I just loved the whole thing from beginning to end. I thought it was probably the best. Disney movie that's a musical since I don't want to say Tangled because that's kind of, that was kind of eh. You didn't like Tangled that much? It, it was average. I, th I love Tangled. It was average. I mean, it was still an enjoyable movie. Oh, yeah. It was, it was still this was good. a very enjoyable movie. Yes. Definitely a kid's movie. Oh, yeah, for Definitely sure. Definitely a kid's movie. A lot of kids are screening. Yes. Lots of the animation is absolutely beautiful. I love the movie. snowman in oh, this movie. Oh, Olaf? Olaf. Oh, my so God. So great. <laughs> I, oh, I'm impaled. <laughs> I think we could both agree that he was a standout. Adina Menzel, who was actually on Glee, if I remember correctly. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, she, again, she does a great job with the singing. Every actor in this film, you know, when it comes, you know, the singing and all that stuff, they have to pull off some really high notes and some really low notes, some really emotional chords. They hit every one of those chords that seemed flawlessly. I mean, there were a few times where I was tearing up. Yeah, he was, literally. Kristen Bell, there's just one note that she hits. I almost lost it. Disney, seriously. Just go out and build a snowman. Seriously, Disney, great job. The score, the direction by Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck. Something I gotta mention to the schmoes and Chris Duckman who saw this movie. Uh -huh. Honestly, how could you see that twist coming? There was a great twist in I the movie. I was sucked into it. Yeah, I was, I was sucked, sucked in. in. Yeah, there's a certain twist that happens to me. We're not gonna give it away. When they saw it and heard it, my jaw dropped and I was like, WTF. WTF does WTF mean? <laughs> <laughs> World's End, guys. This movie was absolutely fantastic. I had a fun time. Disney movies have so many jobs to do in terms of entertainment, you know. It could be for kids, it could be for adults. If it's a musical, you have to hit those emotional points, but the high notes, the heartbreaking, the heartfelt moments, the warmth, the comedy, and Frozen, I think hits all those moments just perfectly. I mean, absolutely. And you know what? On the way back, I was telling him, I was like, you know, after watching this movie, I wanted to watch all the classic Disney movies again because of how great the singing is. It's very reminiscent. It felt very nostalgic 
when I watched Except it. Except for Night Before Christmas. I honestly have no flaws with this movie. I mean, I was sucked in from start to finish. The music was fantastic. The singing was fantastic. The animation was beautiful. Oh, by the way, the 3D was actually really good. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. The shorts. There is a five minute short before Frozen, and it is absolutely fantastic. Yes. It was a Mickey Mouse cartoon. Black and white and color. Yes, yeah. It, how, I loved how I like, was able to transcend or like adapt to the both the worlds. It was great. I never thought I'd say this about a musical, guys. It's honestly it's animation. It's best anime film of the year, and it's one of my favorite films of the year. I've never thought I'd say that about a musical in a long time. It's a Disney movie. Five out of five. I absolutely love this movie. If you're a fan of the old Disney movies, check this movie out. It's so good. And you know what? See it in 3D if you can, and bring your kids to it. It's a great family-friendly, fun film. Simply put, Monsters University got its ass kicked. Five out of five. Best animated film of the year. Yes, no and, doubt about it. Yeah, Monsters can't, doesn't hold a candlelight to this movie. Alright, so that was our review for Frozen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And by the way, the final poll is finished regarding who goes first to last for the top 10 best mm -hmm. and worst films of 2013. And that video will be shown on Friday. So, we hope you guys enjoyed our review. Comment down and let us know below of what your favorite old Disney musical is. And what did you think of my beanie? <laughs> and until then, we will see you guys next time. Adios, amigos. Oh, seriously, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs>